Hello everyone, it's Humphrey again with Router Gods, and we're continuing on from our last video where I showed you about OSPF costs and how they influence the routing decisions. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change those costs so that we can make the routes go a different way. So the packets will go instead of, let's say, from R1 to R3 through the bottom link, we're going to make them go through the top link through R2. Okay, so we're continuing on, so hopefully you have your configs saved up. We're using Practice Topology 5B. OSPF has already started up, and we've done our speed and duplex fixes on our interfaces to make the costs all one. Okay, so we're just going to verify that everything is still going through the bottom link. I'm going to ping 3.3.3.3, which is the loopback on router 3. I'm then going to run a trace on that loopback and we are definitely going through the bottom link so things are looking pretty good now what we're going to do is going to just look at the cost so show ip ospf interface and we're concerned about fast ethernet 01 and that cost is a one so the way we're going to do this is we know that the bottom cost is a total of two so it's one plus one equals two we know this top link here is a cost of three because it's one plus one plus one that's three so all we have to do is make this bottom link this total cost for this link more than three and then OSPF we hope will switch and use the top link so how can we do that well it's pretty easy we go into the interface itself so go conf t interface fast zero one IP OSPF and we know it's something after that and we have this command called priority. Actually, it's not priority. Sorry about that. Let's think about something else. Cost. Show IP OSPF. IP OSPF cost, question mark, and we can go from 1 to 65,535. So this is a direct way of changing the cost using the actual IP OSPF cost method. In another video, I'll show you how to change it by bandwidth, but usually we want to do it by cost. So let's make it a cost of, let's make it really bad, 10,000. Just horrible now. We'll exit out of there. And let's see if my routing table has changed. So show IP route. And you can see here now we are going through 10, 10, 12, 2, which is this top link here. And our cost has changed to a 3, which makes sense because we're going 1, 2, 3. So that's pretty good. Let's see if that's reflected in our show IP OSPF interface. Let's see what the cost is for FAST01. And you can see there that we have definitely changed the cost to 10,000. Okay, let's trace it out, see if it works. Trace 3.3.3.3, .3 source, loop back zero. And you can see here we're going through 12.2 and 23.3. So right here, 12.2 over here 23.3 and hits this. Now you might be wondering, okay, so I've changed router one to go through the top. What happens when router three sends it back? Will it still send back through the bottom link or will it also send through the top link? Well, when you change the cost for a interface, it's just going to change how you send out. Router three has no idea. It doesn't really care. And we can check this out by going to router three and let's look at its show IP route table. And you can see here for router through to get back to 1.1.1.1, it's still going to use 10.10.13.1, which is the other, other side of this bottom fast ethernet link. But okay, let's show IP OSPF interface. Let's see what the cost is on this side, which is fast01. Fast01 here, you can see cost here, unchanged, cost of one. So changing the cost on one side does not change the cost on the other side. Okay, let's go back to router one. So we know how to change it. Let's see if we can change it back. So conf t, interface fast01, IP OSPF cost, make it one. Exit out of there. Show IP route. Now this might take a while. You can see, see that it's still on 10, 10, 12, 2, which is fine. 
and now it has switched over to 1010 13.3 it has switched back to the bottom link okay so this was a quick and easy video of how to change the cost which is just simply go into interface fast 01 or go into whatever interface and the command is going to be IP OSPF cost and then you just plug in a number and as long as the whole link is more is greater than the alternative link what's going to happen is the router is going to switch over and start shooting the packets the other way right in the next video I'm going to show you how to change the cost indirectly by changing the bandwidth thanks for watching